Hey everybody, Steven here today looking at a new table lamp from Halaser here. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And with this, the company reached out to me. They saw my Gobi table lamp video and was wondering if I wanted to check this product out. And I did. You're seeing more of these table lamp products hitting the market. And this one just looked a little bit different than the other ones that I've seen. We have the Gobi here, which is more almost like a bowl. And we'll kind of make a comparison between these two because I do want to see what the spec difference is going to be here. But with this, it's more of a dome shape. And we'll cover the specs here in a second. Let's get this thing unboxed first. With this, it's $49.99. There's like a $5 off coupon right now. So same price as the Govi. Open this up. Have this upside down. All right, so we have our charging brick there, and then we have our cable. Um, this looks very similar to the Gobi one. Same type of input here. The difference is, is the Gobi one is like built in, so it's not just like I can unplug the USB here. So I do like that, just in case you don't want to use this power brick here, this wall adapter. All right, so let's set this to the side. So this is it right here. So different shape, right? when you're looking at these two. Whoa, almost fell out of my hand right there. All right, so it's bottom heavy. <laughs> so looking at these two right here with this, this is obviously gonna be a larger like horizontal or vertical profile with this where this is gonna be wider, right? More horizontal. Looking at the input, we have the input right there on the side. We get a good shot of that. This one's gonna be on that side right there. And stacking them. So one button, just like the Gobi here, should be able to hold this, and then it should turn on if the battery is charged up, which it may not be. Let's see. The Gobi did have it charged, but it was just enough to kind of turn it on for a second, and then I actually had to charge it up. This does have a scroll to it also, where this will move. So you can cycle through stuff where you actually just push it on the back of the Gobi there. So I'm gonna need to actually charge this up apparently so I can get that. But the other thing with this is I need to get the app downloaded so I can actually utilize the app. The Gobi one is very easy to use. So I'll get that set up. We'll cut back, I'll showcase a little bit of it and then I'll actually talk about the specs with this, which are right here, and then compare the two just to see. Cause my biggest thing with this is, is this going to be as bright as the Gobi? So let's get that all set up and we'll jump right back into this. All right, so all set up here. The setup was quick and easy. And one of the things that I will say is a huge positive with this is, at least for me, is I use the Smart Life app for actually controlling my main lights in here because they use that. And a lot of the other lighting products that I've reviewed or showcased on the channel end up using that app. So I was already set up and good to go. Matter of fact, the second I opened the app, it actually popped up to ask me if I wanted to connect this. Now, setup was quick and easy with that. The one thing that I guess I was just kind of thinking it had this and it doesn't, is this does not have a built-in battery. So for the cable in terms of connecting this, you have to leave it plugged in. You, you can't actually disconnect it from that like the Govi. So these two products are different in that regard. Now this one you can operate with, with it plugged in if you wanted to, but other than that, it, the, the main draw here is that you could actually leave this unplugged and actually operate it for up to four hours. So this is gonna be awesome for Halloween. I mentioned that when I actually did the unboxing review of the Gobi here. This one you have to leave plugged in. You cannot actually unplug this. So kind of disappointed with that. I was hoping that this would actually have the built-in battery, especially considering that they have the same price. That's the first kind of big difference between these two. The other big difference with this is that the uh, Halicer here is going to actually, or Halicer is going to work with Amazon Alexa. And if you have Google, it can work with that as well. So this is going to be a smart feature that this has that the Gobi does not. So you can actually use Alexa or anything like that to actually control this. I'm not huge into that personally, but that may be a draw with this. So for those that like, ah, I'm not ever going to unplug this anyways, I don't need to worry about that. Then maybe you want the smart app stuff. Then this is going to be the thing that you want in terms of looking at the brightness. That was the other concern I mentioned that, Hey, I don't know if these have the same lumens. I cannot find how many lumens this is. 
the big thing with the, the, the company, if I look up their name on the internet, it actually doesn't showcase the company for this. What I end up finding is a website that takes me to Govi. So I can go to their Amazon listing page and I can see this. I don't see any other products other than that. So I don't know if it's one of those things that they're just getting into the America market with this. I don't, I don't know, but it is a contender against Gobi, but I do usually like seeing more of a presence from a company here when I want to recommend their products. But with this, um, looking at trying to track down how many lumens, I don't see it listed on the Amazon listing. I just mentioned I can't actually find a website for this company. I found another listing on another company's website for this and it doesn't showcase that either. It's not in the manual here. I'm not finding anything about that. But looking at these two, originally my thought was like, ah, oh, man, the Govi may be a little bit brighter. But as I got them at the same color and put them close to wall, I'm going to guess this is 350 lumens as well. So the Gobi is 350 lumens. This is most likely 350. Where it will look different is that this shape because it's rounded and this is kind of held into this bowl shape, this is almost more like a spotlight where this is going to diffuse the light more and it's just gonna kind of spread it out a little bit more than this is. So that's another thing. What, what are you looking for? You're looking for something that does have more of a spotlight then maybe the Gobi is right for you. If you want something that will, I could set this in the middle of the table and it kind of spills out a little bit more from there, then the Halister here may be the right choice for you. In terms of the app difference too, I was concerned that this app, because I didn't know which one it was going to be, I'm excited that it is the Smart Life here. Uh, the Gobi is easy to use, and I actually have my Gobi light strip around this, so I have all of that under one hood, and it makes just changing the colors with this very, very simple, easy to do. This, just as easy. And I was excited also to see that this has just as many options as the Govi does with this too. So when you're actually looking at the app, so that's what it's going to look like right there when it's pulled up. Now, if I back out of that, that's what I have in my room. Those are my regular lamps, or lamps, my regular lights in the room. Let's turn the smart lamp on. And then you can change all of this stuff. So the ease of use, so let's do the special effects here. Turn on the special effects and you can see here and we have choices and you can actually edit and change these things. And the Gobi has the same thing. I would say that by default the Gobi has more, but the fact that you can adjust and change all of this stuff and it's easy to do is, is going to be a draw for this. I will make sure that B-roll pops up as well so you're not just looking at me. You will actually get to see the different lighting effects with this as well. You can also change the different colors. So if you do that, it'll actually pull up this and then you can choose from there. Gobi is a little bit different because it does give you more options within this, but you can choose literally and pull this to any color that you want, which is really cool. You can set alarms with this. You can tell it when you're gonna go to sleep. So as like a night light, I think this is a good option also. Not to mention, if we wanted to, we could prop this up. The, the propping up here is a little bit different. This is actually a little bit more vertical than this is. But once again, this is more like a spotlight. This one kind of just diffuses the light out a little bit more. And then you can turn it on as a nightlight as well, if you wanted to. So plenty of options. I think they're kind of even with that. Yeah, maybe the Gobi has a little bit more that's kind of just in the app as a preset but there's a lot that you can do and tweak this with and if you're using like i am other smart life app light fixtures like that's all under one hood and that does help with this and there are a lot of different products that use that app so i think it really is going to boil down to what you want because these are similar yet very different with this right do i want something that's portable you're going to need to go with the govi right i want something that like i mentioned multiple times is more like a spotlight it still kind of diffuses the light but not as well as this does do i want something that is going to diffuse the light i don't care if i'm gonna i'm not gonna actually take it i don't need it to be portable i'm just gonna plug it in somewhere then i can use this which by the way, I thought the plugins were the same. They actually are not. This one is slightly bigger. So these two aren't interchangeable. Um, they both have buttons on them. I do like the, the dial on this where I could actually change. And for this, it's gonna be the brightness, right? I could scroll that down. 
I could actually press it and it's going to give you inside of the manual different color settings that you can do depending on how many times you're pressing it, right? So there's like sequence stuff. I think of like headphones when or earbuds, wireless earbuds, when you actually have to tap them multiple times to turn this stuff on. So cool stuff that you can do with this as well. So I think color wise, lumen wise, they're pretty much the same. Do you need something that works with Amazon Alexa or maybe um, Google? where you can actually use voice to control it, then you're gonna to need to go with the Halicer here over the Govi. And, and like I said, it, two similar products that are also different, so it boils down to what do you want. So with this, I'm probably gonna use, like these will probably still be in the corners. I'll probably use this one, and I could actually see my daughter using this as a nightlight, the guest bed, bedroom, um, outside, when we go outside and we turn on the lights, the string lights that are around um, our patio, but also maybe I want something that has a little bit of color to it. Like this is gonna be great for that, where this is still good. I'm not saying it's not good, but this diffuses the light versus this is gonna literally kind of shine a little bit more up. So that's gonna be it for this one. Um, I'll finish it out with more B-roll also, just making sure that everybody can actually see what this looks like. Um, cool to see that they're, they're coming out with different products um, with this like a table lamp with colors isn't something I thought I would want and then I saw the Govi one and then it's like oh now there's a lot of other companies that have this as well so it's an interesting space to see and I'm curious to see maybe we start seeing more variations of this stuff and then it like this is right now it boils down to what are your things that you're wanting out of your table lamp you'll find the right product for you instead of just being stuck with one option right? Like I said, I need portable, portable. I don't need portable. I need something spotlight. I need something that's going to spill out the light more. So very, very cool. Um, price point wise, 50 bucks, $5 off. I think they're a little bit steep right now in general for the price. I can, regardless of it being Govi or this, I could see these really settling into the 30, $35 mark and that being more solid in terms of a price point. You do get the $5 off, so it brings it down to 45. After taxes, it's probably 50 with this. Um, so I think that's a little bit high for right now, but I think long-term we'll see these prices come down. And when it is in that $35 price point, I think it's a good buy for anybody that's needing a light like this. And as I mentioned, thinking of it for whatever situation also. So if I'm looking at this as a nightlight for my daughter, this thing's gonna be great for her. And we can stand it up, we can lie it flat. So I do have those two options with this and it'll provide enough light without being overwhelming, especially with how I can adjust this. And if she wakes up in the middle of the night, she needs to turn it up really quick. She literally can just spin the dial and increase that brightness. So a lot of upside to these products for people that have kids, right? But beyond that too, if you're throwing parties or anything like that and you want something that you can uh, kind of put around depending on how many you want to get as just cool places where you're going to have color in the room, I think that's awesome. Creating routines with this is another thing that you can do. Setting an alarm, right? So I could leave this on. It's like, hey, you turn off at 7 a.m and then you need to turn back on at 9 p.m. and that's gonna be the nightlight or opposite of that, right? You need to turn on at like 6 a.m. and I need you to be this brightness and this color to help wake me up, right? So that's gonna be it for this one. I'm gonna make sure that a link for this is in the description. I'll make sure my link for this is there too and then for the video if you guys want to get more info on this. I kind of covered a, a decent amount with it, but if you wanted to look a little bit more in depth with the Gobi here, but uh, that's going to be it. If there's anything that I didn't answer in this video, by the way, let me know in the comment section and I will make sure that I answer that for you there. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.